Okay, this is, I don't know how to pronounce that, smoke, smote, whatever, uh, Elite Barrelers. So, um, this one looks interesting. Spooner's going to be uh, going middle in uh, sit and wait. So, we're going to get that. And we're also going to tell him when I'm in position to go through... Now, everything is, is kind of built on where I'm going to be because we don't have to worry about going through the hoops and angles and everything. We do have to get our <coughs> outside circle, though. So I'm thinking that I either want to be here so I can cut across in front of jump number four or I want to be starting out really lateral here and pushing him to go out and that might work because he'll come in a little bit this way and I can tell him to switch so massive massive pressure point there as he begins because I'm going to tell him to go out go through and I'm waiting for him to actually look forward at that hoop I'm going to parallel him a little bit here and he's going to turn in towards me, and I'm going to let him do that. I might even say, you know, Spooner, come. And then I'm going to say, switch around. Right when he's, he's coming to me, switch around, and he's going to whip around there, which is going to look very, very impressive. Okay, because that's Spooner being awesome. So right when he is about here, I'm going to be telling him to switch because he has a really tight switch turning radius then we're going to come through parallel him a little bit and i do want him to come into me a little bit the five is on this side so he has to go out and around what i did ahead of time was put some of the phrases i'm going to use so he's coming through here i'm not going to tell him out and around until he spies this next object um so he's going to be running and he may look at me so i don't want to use a pressure point because obviously he has to come this way so i'm going to tell him out and around which he should know so right about here maybe even as he gets a little bit closer out and around and he's coming back towards six and i'm in a very good position i may have moved up a little bit and i'm going to be using my arms to direct him so go through, uh, come around, go through and come around, go through, seven and then we got to go to eight. And I'm still, I'm still in a pretty good position here. Uh, he's going to come through seven, he's going to go on to eight, and I'm here, so I'm going to tell him go through and switch out. So he's going to, and I, I wrote it right there, switch out, and he's going to go out around. I'm going to uh, reinforce that using um, a pressure point so that uh, he, yeah, he doesn't come into me. So pressure point to get him out around the barrel and very, very soon. And so he's, he's going to be going out around tunnel so we're going to get that tunnel uh command right in there because no problem with this as he's entering the tunnel i'm going to tell him to go out around so he gets around that barrel there so telling him there i'm going to reinforce it here really don't need too much of a pressure point but you know maybe a little one because it's a tunnel He's going to go out to the tunnel. He'll see it. He'll go. Um, he's going to, I'm going to want him to do uh, uh, out and around for number 11. So he's got that command. And as he's going around there, I'm going to tell him to come. So he has a direction. Where am I? Okay. So we've done all of this. I've been in here. I, I don't actually need to move into this area yet um, so that I can handle this. 11, so I want him to come through 
to 12. So he's coming through. And then let's see, he needs to go around. So this is, and I have to wait a little bit, but then he's out and around. He's going, going to go, go out and around. And then come, uh, go through. Uh, pressure point definitely here to get him to, to go through there so I don't have to worry about him backing up around the barrel. So we're going to do that. I may have followed him a little bit, but uh, I don't need to really move that much except for to turn my body to bring him with me. And then he's going to go through 15, and as he gets closer to 15, I'm going to say switch out tunnel so that he knows he's going to give me a switch and I can do that actually just before he goes uh, through the hoop switch out tunnel and uh, I can kind of as soon as he commits to the tunnel I can come over here and he's going to come out of that tunnel and I'm going to be telling him um, out around as he's uh, before he comes out of the tunnel actually when he enters the tunnel, I'm going to be telling him out and around it right there. And then again here, reinforcing pressure point to keep him out. He's going to go out and then we're going to have a sprint to the finish line. He goes 17 out and out, go through, go on, get it. I don't know. We have not worked out our go on to the end yet. I'm still working on that, but um, as you can see, we do a little party at the end, um, but that was fun. That was fun. I'll tell you what I did, though. I, I mapped it all out with my words uh, prior to actually running it here, so I thought it out.